Hi guys, this is your Filipino babe. <laughs> Hi guys, this is your Filipino page. And happy weekend to each and everyone. I hope everyone is doing fine and as fine as wine. <laughs> I know I've not been doing a lot of videos right now. I've been very busy at work. Afternoon shifts till 11 in the evening. Three buses a day. It's like... Whew too much and yeah i have uh you know health issues regarding my pains body pains anyways so i will get into divorce issue in the philippines um this is like my point of view regarding the matter and especially you know i know that a lot of you even my friend the vibing with run and rada uh has when they heard of it they, they i know they felt worried about it and you know things like that um of course they will be like in their mind they will think about the divorce in the west you know the situation of marriage and divorce in the west especially in the united states now before i delve in into the into my personal take on this let me give you a very brief history of divorce in the philippines now during tribal you know times pre-colonial times we already have divorce in the philippines when the spaniards came it was outlawed during the spanish period and was officially abolished in 1988 after the family code of the philippines has been ratified but this really doesn't mean that techni technically there is no legal way of parting ways for couples we still have it we have two kinds annulment and legal separation now we'll discuss a bit on that later but i'll just want to say that that until now we still have divorce in the philippines but not to non-muslims so our muslim brothers and sisters especially in the south of the philippines mindanao region is still practicing divorce the whole asia continent the philippines is the only country that does not have divorce until this point of time in the whole world the philippines and the vatican and i know before that venezuela uh, ghana and zambia two countries in africa still doesn't have divorce or have that that divorce has been abolished also in their countries but you could just uh research on that i can google that anyways but i'll focus of course with the philippines no so we don't have divorce it's not legal in the philippines till this time but we have two kinds of parting ways or separation one is annulment and the other is legal separation what is the difference okay annulment is you can also remarry on with annulment but it takes a lot 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 of process and years and money so usually we we always say that annulment is just for the very rich people you know so it's not affordable by the mass and it's very hard because there are really how you say um, a lot of legal proceedings on that annulment is getting your marriage null and void which has different grounds and different types actually so it's a lot of process really and you can just actually google it uh, because it's a very big thing to discuss also and legal separation the same time uh, it's just like in the court you will settle uh, that you will not live together in one house or you will not cohabit you'll just separate as couples especially with regards to properties 
so because when you get married in the philippines all the properties that you um that you obtain during the marriage during your togetherness it's what you call conjugal property it, the owners are both the husband and the wife so that's important in the annulment you will also discuss that together with the custody of the children and blah 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 a lot you can just google both okay now <laughs> oh my god i don't know where to start actually because this is very very big um it's very hard for us in the philippines especially for those who really needed to separate it's not the same as in the west in america for example or here in europe where i am right now that you can just simply say okay i don't love you anymore i like another one or you can just make create alibis or an excuse and you can file divorce and then psh, approved no in the philippines the grounds for annulment and requirements will also be in case divorce will really be officially turned into a law all the grounds in annulment will be carried on to the divorce this divorce law so it's still not easy still not easy there's a lot of things to prove you cannot just simply go like in the setting of the west the western setting like you know you get bored with your partner and then okay you file a divorce or you can create and have false claims or false accusations no you have to prove it to the court you have to have a probable cause that you really need that separation for example if you caught your partner cheating you just cannot say that hey court hi i'm here to divorce my husband because i caught him cheating how do you how do you know that he's cheating i saw him with another girl eating together like this no you have to prove it really prove it with lots of pictures text messages uh, proofs and evidences witnesses also witnesses not one but two or more witnesses and if you really caught him or her uh, like really having that or doing that act then your your grounds for annulment or divorce eventually divorce will really have a very big weight but then it's not that even if you don't if the, you do have those evidences you still have to wait because the court will determine if it's really okay for both parties and for the kids not just because i want it you know what i mean so it will really be scrutinized based on the family code of the philippines and other laws of the philippines and you know we have a lot of laws about family so it's it's not it's not gonna be easy really like in the west like okay <laughs> you don't have money anymore you don't like a chink here's my divorce paper sign it and chink, tomorrow bye it's not easy you have to really have meet those requirements and grounds and prove to court and blah 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 the only thing that most of especially women in the philippines want this divorce law to be passed or to be reenacted as a law or enacted as a law because annulment is very very expensive i will tell you honestly i've been going on with my annulment since 2016 until now nothing that money is not just well maybe for you it would be a bit um small amount but for us it's like a lifetime because mine it was my savings from the work that i did in china as a, an, a foreign teacher and i even sold a part of my property to my brother you know the land that i inherited from my parents from my father's side so 
and until now I didn't get the approval and I don't know what happens <laughs> so that's another issue that I need to tackle when I get home actually the divorce bill or law is not for everybody in the Philippines as I say that you cannot just go there to the court and say hi court I don't like my husband anymore like that ciao <laughs> and then you sign the papers it's not like that you have like the annulment you you have to go, undergo if it's you know if your ground is psychological incapacity then you have to prove it you mean you have to undergo psychological evaluation from a professional licensed psychologist and psychiatrist then you wait for another you pass that one to the court submit that one to the court and among others so it's the same thing when this divorce will be passed the only difference with annulment and divorce is actually the price and the cost <laughs> that's it that's why it says pro women and pro poor this divorce because yeah it would really cost a bit a bit more more cheaper really and why is it pro women because when you just have the annulment and it's very expensive you know how much is it it's half a million if you get really a very very good lawyer and you will have you want it to be approved right away or not right away like i mean shorter period of time maybe two years or three years like that since that there's a lot of women right now there that has been separated like they they don't live together they don't have news about the the guy or even you know even for men that have got separated they just go part ways just like that separate like unofficial like not with the legal document so still you are tied to this paper and you cannot marry you don't have the chance to you know to have a new life actually after your experience usually we don't go we don't want divorce or separation if we are okay why would you apply for a divorce if you're happy i mean happy to the extent that you know you're not battered your your husband or your wife is not a drug drug addict or have a lot of vices like you know life-threatening kinds and sorts you've seen you can check on youtube there's a lot lot of cases that the husband or the wife murdered you know the family the kids these things it's different in there there's a lot of women in the philippines that cannot move on you see because for for most of the guys there maybe it would be a bit easy maybe they won't really want like marriage for in second marriage like that because since our society is very patriarchal it's already like a national sport sorry i'm not no hate for for the filipino men and you know my fellow filipinos it's just that this is reality and this is a fact that cheating having mistresses is a national sport in the philippines so it's more on the women cannot do that i mean there are some but very secretive very secret and how you say okay generally it's not really like the women can just go hop on hop off and go different kinds maybe there are but very less but you know generally i'm saying you know majority the women will just wait and okay it's like this even if they are still young they can't because first is people with it like double standards you know when guys do do that it's much easier for the society to accept but when women even if she's separated she can't just easily live together or do things like the men and we it's not that we complain about it or really like hate those guys or this 
the society above this because that's already a thing, a cultural thing in the Philippines. We accepted that fact and that reality. We are just like fighting for that, for those women who really needs that because at least it's more legal or it's more how you say um you will not feel self-guilt and you know um at least it's more open now that it's not hip living in hypocrisy in in all you know what i mean when there is divorce already then these women who have ex these experiences like really really worst okay not just because one time you they fight and because they're what i don't know those petty things it's not going to be allowed by the government to, for sure <laughs> because it's always the government when you have couple issues they will still try to patch things up which is the best way that you know to save the relationship or the marriage but if like you are really hopeless to to do, it's hopeless to do that then that's the time that you're going to have the chance to probably you know file that divorce so like mine the father of my kids has been <laughs> have a lot of already women even during our marriage plus after and then he has already different kids from different women so what's the use what what am i waiting for you see and me i can't because i'm I, i'm wired to the cultural awareness and mor moral standards that we have that women if i do that really like you know although there are already like that a bit but it's like you're living with numbers or you're living in a bubble so it's hard because yeah, yeah i know it's really hard to to explain as a woman there i really guarantee i hope i'm not gonna be wrong on this someday but for sure maybe a big percentage that i will t assure you that it's not gonna be the same setting as the west if it, ever that this divorce law will be passed there are some you know like misconceptions or judgments maybe um especially when some people are really very religious since the philippines is the only christian um catholic christian um, nation in asia so it's really a very thin line of the separation of church and state so that's why this divorce this divorce issue is really very very big and controversial and difficult to to discuss openly or to make it into a law but then for the sake of argument let's say regarding the religious aspect you know now I'm just gonna ask this question, okay? Which is more Christian to live in a house that there is violence and then kids will grow up always fighting and with all this violence inside the house or seeing their mom or having affairs also or the, fa the father knowing them or seeing them always drunk and beating the mom their mom or having different women like not just sleeping around like that or flings like that but really mistresses like living three days there living there you know it's different in the philippines unless if you're you know like our muslim brothers and that can have multiple marriages which is more christian and then you see a lot of news really a lot really a lot of cases that daughters are raped by their own biological father me i've already been separated more than 10 years and yeah and that's also the same reason why most of filipino guys pull away even if i was still that you know younger and all that stuff because it's you're still tied i'm still tied so it, otherwise if 
he will force to really be with me we have to spend a lot of money for this that annulment Sec and i don't want that because it's not his responsibility it's not his obligation so that's why i've tried to file on my own so that in case before my idea is that i can start really without burdens to my new man suppose that, that. <laughs> I can do, okay i'm serious okay but that's what i mean and when you are still tied to that marriage if there are guys who likes you they it's it's a really a hassle in the philippines because you know women wants to free to be free not just because they want to have relationship again yes of course not it's not the it's one of the reasons okay but it's not just that it's like you get more peace of mind it's for lifting up yourself again whether you will be having a next marriage or you have plans to get married again or you have a new someday will meet a new man or a new woman it it doesn't matter the, the point is you're building you're renewing yourself your life it's not just the reason of just wanting to have a man a new man or wanting to have a new woman it's part of moral boost that okay you're you're beginning in your new life or you're rising up again that's that's actually the the logic or the the reason behind that not just it's it's another thing i mean it's part of it but it's not just like the purpose of getting a new man or getting a new woman and blah 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 like relationship all right and which is more christian when you see that there's sometimes too much violence cause really like life so you're gonna wait for that the setting in the philippines is really different the culture in the philippines is really different so it's not gonna be like the west for sure i'm i'm gonna say that maybe i will be wrong well f well forgive me for that but it's in my opinion the way i see it the way i understood and really really felt because it's i know better about that culture because i'm from there so yeah hopefully i will not get mistaken and you know why i'm say i'm really like more more sure or in in terms of percentage that it will not be the same like abused and exploited because our society our government is really <laughs> even our family is really checking us out so you cannot trust abuse and exploit the laws or what not well there are some who abuse but usually it's not like that west that they abuse those laws and we have privileges also but not like really we abuse that the, those who abuse usually is like those who are in power in, like they go corruption or they use their power or authority to you know to do crimes M mostly it's just like that but other than that regarding family family issues we don't we, re we really don't it's really seldom maybe but not about the the purpose of destroying the family family structure or the unit of society because it's always important for us and we always have family first it's always family for us you know why i'm so confident that it's not going to be like in the west if ever the divorce law will be enacted because divorce has been there in the philippines since pre-colonial times until the spanish period so it, it wasn't really abused that way and even until now we have annulment and yeah at the same time uh, it's we, for those religious group or religious people that are anti-divorce um i i totally understand their sentiment but they they couldn't say 
deprive and it's article 3 or in our bill of rights constitution of the philippines that we all have you know the right to live life and right to education and all this stuff so if you're if you're not gonna need it if you're okay with your marriage and oh so it doesn't really affect you i mean this this law is just for those who really really need it a court as long as it does not uh, exploit each other abuse each other why would you apply for it if you're happy and it's not really all of there's a lot of you know the population of the philippines is really very big you know so whether we like it or not there will always be couples that will separate even until this point of time that there is not yet divorce there's only annulment legal separation and couples just separate part ways like that okay bye and you know after trying out working it out how many years like mine we just parted ways but we're still you know in that marriage so what happens next it's like very hard for us to to go on with our life right and it's not more christian to do that it's not more proper so if there is, there is like a legal document that says it's okay your marriage has been null and void then for us it will, have, it will give us more peace of mind so do you think that it's more christian or good for couples to just do like that and they're still married legally with that paper with a marriage contract and in the church or whatnot you're always into this biblical reference that what god has put together no man can put asunder something like that <laughs> uh, or some you know i'm not religious but i read a lot of those things and um, if you base on that it's even contradictory also because even the old testament more describing a european setting there's even divorce law and it's contradictory that's why the old testament and the new testament is really contra it's really contradicting each other right so maybe i would not deal with that because it would be a very big discussion and it's like when you talk about religion it's going to be never ending it's going to be like well everybody will or most people will always be like big in big argument <laughs> remember that okay i won't say something about that. okay no i mean i respect each and everyone's beliefs really whether it's cultural religious or whatnot this is just my personal opinion and my personal stand so i don't want that i'm saying that i'm influencing others to follow me or to believe things that i say also or where i stand we all have free will but we should also be responsible and you know respect each other so for my situation it's i think it's really necessary imagine oh my god i couldn't tell you all my whole life story <laughs> otherwise it will sound like <sighs> i'm really avoiding that to be honest because uh, never mind <laughs> okay bye for now thank you for being with me thank you for my new subscribers i really appreciate it for every one of you it's important valuable and appreciated 
Bye. Happy weekend. Stay happy and smiling.